this is Song of Witches Double Double Toil and Trouble by Willem Shakespeare Double Double Toil and Trouble Fire Burn and Cauldron Bubble The Lay of Fanny Snake in the Cauldron Boil and Bake Eye of Newt and Toe of Frog Wool of Bat and Tongue of Dog Adder's Fork and blind worms sting, lizard's leg and howlet's wing, or a charm of powerful trouble, like a hell broth boil and bubble. Double, double toil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble. Cool it with a baboon's blood, and then the charm is firm and good. Yield of skulls by Mary Carr. Stare hard enough at the fabric of night. If you are predisposed to dark, let's say the window you've picked is a black postage stamp you stand, you stand hours at, sleepless, drinking gin after the I Love Lucy rerun has gone off. Stare like your eyes have force, and behind any night's taut strim will come the forms you expect pressing from the other side. For you, a field of skulls, angled jaws, and eye sockets, a zillion scooped out cornea. They're plain once you think to look. You know such fields exist, where criminals roam your very block, and even history lists monsters like Adolf who stalk the Earth's orb, plus minor baby eaters unidentified, probably in your very midst. Perhaps that disgruntled mail carrier clerk from your job has already scratched your name on a bullet. That's him rustling in the azalus. You caress the thought, for it proves there is no better spot for you than here, your square yard of chintz sofa, hearing the bad news pipe steadily from your head. The night is black. You stare and vicious stare, confident there are no gods out there. In this way, you're blind to your own eyes, intricate machine, and to the light uh, it, see, it sees by, to the luck of birth and all your remembered loves. If the skulls are there, let's say they do press towards you against night's scrim. Could they not stare with slack-jawed envy at the fine flesh that covers your scalp, the numbered hairs, the force your hands hold? And now we're going to read Haunted Houses by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. All homes wherein men have lived and died are haunted houses. Through the open doors the harmless phantoms in their errands glide, with feet that make no sounds upon the floors. We meet them at the doorway, in the stair, along the passages they come and go. Impalatable impressions on the air, a sense of something moving to and fro. There are more guests at the table than the hosts invited the illuminated hall. Is thronged with quiet, unoffensive ghosts, as silent as the pictures on the wall. The stranger at my fireside cannot see the forms I see, nor hear the sounds I hear. He but perceives what is, while unto me all that has been is visible near. We have no title deeds to house or lands, owners and occupants of earlier dates. From graves forgotten stretch their dusty hands and hold Mortmain still their old estates. The spirit world around this world of sense floats like an atmosphere and everywhere 
wafts through such earthly mists and vapor dense, a vital breath of more ethereal air. Our little lives are kept in equipoise, but opposites attract desires, the struggles of the instinct that enjoys, and the more noble instinct that aspires. These perturbations, these perpetual, this perpetual jar of earthly wants and aspirations high comes from the influence of an unseen star, an undiscovered planet in our sky. And as the moon from some dark gate of cloud throws over the sea a floating bridge of light, across whom's trembling planks our fancies crowd into the realm of mystery and night. So from the world of spirits there descends a bridge of light connected with this, over whose unsteady floor that sways and bends wanders our thoughts above the dark. The Shadow on the Stone by Thomas Hardy I went by the druid stone that broods in the garden white and low, and I stopped and looked at the shifting shadows that at some moments fell thereon, from the tree hard by with a rhythmic swing and they shaped in my imagining to the shadow that a well-known uh, that a well-known head and shoulders grew there when she was gardening i thought her her behind my back yeah her i long learned to lack and i said i'm sure you are standing behind me though how do you get into this old track there was no sound but the fall of a leaf as a sad response. And to keep down grief, I would not turn my head to discover that there was nothing in my belief. Yet I wanted to look and see that nobody stood at the back of me. But I thought once more, nay, I'll not unvision a shape where somehow there may be. So I went on softly from that glade, and left her behind throwing her shade. As she were indeed an apparition, my head unturned, lest my dreams should fade. A Child's Nightmare by Robert Graves Through long nursery nights he stood, by my bed unwavering, looming, gigantic, formless, queer purring in my haunted ear, that some hideous nightmare thing, talking as he lapped my blood, in a voice cruel and flat, saying forever, cat, cat, cat. That one word was all he said, that one word through all my sleep, in monotonous mock despair, nonsense may be light as air. But there's nonsense that can keep horror bristling round the head when a voice cruel and flat says forever, Cat, cat, cat. He had faded, he was gone, years ago with nursery land, when he leapt upon me again from the clad of a night train, overpowering, uh, overpowered me foot and head lapped my blood while on and on the old voice cruel and flat said forever cat 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 morphia drowned again i say in a crater by highwood he was there with, with straddling legs staring eyes as big as eggs purring as he lapped my blood his black bulk darkening the day with a cruel voice and flat cat 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 he said cat 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 when i'm shot through the heart and head there is no choice but to die the last words i'll hear no doubt won't be charge or bomb them out 
nor the stretcher bearer cry, Let that body be, he's dead. But the voice, cruel and flat, saying forever, 